Hey guys, Asher from CurseForever.com and this is my video tutorial on how to unroot the Samsung Galaxy camera EKGC100. So in case you're selling your camera or you know you, you're giving it to someone else or you need to send it in for warranty, you might want to go ahead and unroot your camera. So guys, the first thing you need to do is uh, go ahead and uh, from the description of this video, from the download section in the description of this video, uh, hit link 1 and that will take you to the Samsung Keys page and download Samsung Keys and install it. Samsung Keys is important, uh, is necessary to install the required drivers for this procedure. So once you have Samsung Keys installed, just go ahead and hold the zoom button, I mean uh, the zoom uh, button to the left, push it to the left and hold the power button and this will take, uh, take you to the download mode, just keep holding it. Again, over here, hit zoom right to continue. So if you if you're rooted, you can see you should be seeing your custom binary download as anything uh, apart from zero or no. So for me, it says yes, one count, and your custom binary as custom. I mean, your current binary as custom, and your system status might be official or modified depending on uh, what it is that you've done with your camera so far. So right now, just pull your pull your battery out and pop, pop it back in and uh, reboot the camera just wait for it to boot up alright guys we're up so going into, going to home and let's quickly go into the uh, uh, I mean let's quickly go into the play store let me enable Wi-Fi. alright guys just quickly go into the play store and search for triangle away that's triangle away that's uh, roof and tri I mean root triangle away uh, so guys this app is a paid app uh, this is necessary to reset your counter to zero if you want to send it in for warranty so uh, if you guys don't want to pay for it the uh, app developer gives it away for free uh, in XDA forums, uh, but I would highly suggest that you guys actually uh, purchase this app because Chainfire, has done, Chainfire, the app developer, has done a lot of work for uh, Samsung Galaxy devices in general. So uh, I've paid for it already, so I'm just gonna open it up, hit continue, okay, and just scroll down and hit reset flash counter and hit continue. So this will take a few minutes at max. So right now here it says press volume up to reset counter and status, press volume down to reboot. But the keys are actually reversed so yeah, uh, though this is volume up and this is volume down and it, and it says hit volume up to reset counter, we are actually gonna move it to the right that is volume down. Okay. This is a, the triangle away app is in general for, I mean these instructions are in general for all Galaxy devices. So it's kind of reversed over here so we hit volume down instead. So here it says resetting counter and rebooting. Okay, while the camera reboots what we do is let's just quickly open up a new window and head on over to samfirmware.com the link is in the download section uh, so just uh, go ahead open it up and just create an ID it's free just create an ID login and hit firmwares and files and over here select camera from type OS Android model EKGC 100 and select whatever country it is you're from and hit send. And you will get uh, the firmware, the latest firmware for your country av that's available for your country. So go ahead, hit download, and that'll take you to Hotfile. I have a premium account. If you don't, just click on whatever prompts up, say uh, download for free, and just download the firmware. So right now the cam camera is up. So again, we need to go to the download mode. Uh, do you zoom uh, zoom to the left and uh, hit the power button? Hold it.
and zoom right to continue okay so just connect the ca camera to the with a USB cable so guys this is the firmware file that I downlo I've downloaded from samfirmware.com right click on it and extract it and uh, you will get a file like this that engine.tar.md5 just leave it as it is for the moment and in the download section you will also find a link to download Odin so download that and right click extract it so uh, once you have Odin extracted right click run as administrator so if you have Samsung keys installed by this point it means all drivers have been set up and uh, this turns yellow or blue depending on uh, if you are, if you have downloaded Odin from a different uh, link if it's a different version it will turn blue blue and yellow or good so that's fine so right now hit PDA and navigate to wherever it is that you've downloaded and extracted uh, the firmware from samfirmware.com so this is the one that I have the file that ends in .tar.md5 select it the galaxy camera is in the download mode connected and uh, let me just zoom in for a bit so if you guys can see uh, the custom binary says no and the custom bi uh, the binary uh, the current binary says Samsung official that's because they used uh, a uh, triangular way to reset the counter alright so just hit start over here and this will take a few minutes and uh, after which the ca camera will reboot by itself so let's just I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes once the camera reboots alright guys we're almost done here this is what you'd see on your galaxy camera alright once it says reset and pass you can just unplug the micro USB cable and your galaxy camera will reboot it'll just install stuff so just wait for this to complete so guys now that it's up you wouldn't find super user or super, user, super SU anymore and uh, the next check going into settings about device status still says scanning just give it a few minutes to be updated uh, sorry guys I ran out of battery on my other camera so I'm using the uh, Galaxy Note 2 uh, to record over here so like I was saying if it says uh, official over here you're done you're done with this tutorial just go ahead and like subscribe and uh, you're done unrooting your device if it still says custom just go ahead uh, hold the uh, push this zoom button I mean zoom key to the right and hold the power button just keep holding it and your galaxy camera will reboot before you do this just go ahead back up whatever you want uh, apps contacts whatever your media files you don't need to touch your media files because that will still remain once you see galaxy camera displayed you can let the keys go and this will take you to android system recovery alright over here you can use the zoom buttons to navigate and the power button to select so just a moment alright just go down select wipe data factory reset and hit the power button scroll down select yes delete all user data alright now scroll down again and select wipe cache partition hit the power button to do it done now hit reboot system now so your galaxy camera will reboot and uh, let it reboot I'll give it a few mi few minutes so that you know the uh, status gets updated and uh, I'll be back with you guys alright guys we're back up again so now quickly going into settings about device status there you see it device status says official so your galaxy camera is now fully unrooted you can sell it if you need to sell it or send it in for warranty you can do so because it's fully unrooted with no traces of it ever being rooted so that's pretty much it guys thanks a lot for watching and before you go make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons and if you run into any issues or if you need any help 
You can hit us up at cursedforever.com slash forums. The links and the description for again for the full written instructions, head on over to cursedforever.com. The links annotated on the uh, onto this video and it's also there in the description. So uh, once again, that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. Ash from cursedforever.com signing off. You guys have a great day and stay subscribed. Bye bye now.